Humans are pretty cool. Teach them how to plant seeds, wait 10,000 years, and they will start sending rockets into space. That's pretty fast considering we did it in 0.015% of the time that the dinosaurs were around. And they literally did nothing but die. Our secret tool? We pass information on by ourselves instead of taking the much slower process of naturally evolving. Once humans gather together in a civilization, things speed up even more, since not everyone is worried about survival. Some people farm for everyone else, so others can go on to be doctors and scientists. So just imagine what we could do once we are as old as the dinosaurs. We could create an interstellar empire, or better, a galactic empire, right? Well, not really. And here's why. Let's talk about something called the Fermi Paradox. A few days ago I made a video where I explained that one of the main reasons that we haven't discovered aliens yet is because the universe is much younger than we think. And most civilizations out there haven't yet had the chance to create a galactic empire. Well, there's another reason, and that's the Fermi Paradox. Because civilizations like ours advance much faster than nature, if an alien race started just one million years before us, they could have already colonized other systems by now. So where are they? The Fermi Paradox explains that civilizations go through several filters. A filter is basically a major challenge that a civilization must overcome, or else they die out. We are going through one right now, not blowing ourselves up. So the reason we have not been contacted by aliens is that all civilizations have died out. That means that it's inevitable for our civilization to die out. Hmm, that's not so uplifting. Well, I'm going to explain a much more optimistic filter that keeps civilizations from colonizing the galaxy. Elon Musk believes that we are in a simulation. His reasoning? We will reach a point where we can make simulations indistinguishable from reality. If not us, then someone else will. Then those simulations will go on to make their own simulations and so forth. That puts our chances at being in what is called the base reality at a billion to one. I agree that civilizations, including ours, have the potential to get to that point, but I think that civilizations will use the technology for something else. It would start with people putting a digital version of their consciousness onto a chip, so when they die, they could reawaken inside a simulated universe. That simulation would be a paradise. A virtual heaven, if you will. Eventually, people would not just do this when they die, but everyone will enter the virtual heaven. They would see their deceased relatives again and live for hundreds of years in pure happiness. The simulation would be contained inside massive rooms full of computers that would be maintained entirely by robots. The computers would be powered by large nuclear fusion reactors and would be put onto spacecrafts and sent into deep space as to avoid any natural disasters on their home planet. That could keep the simulation running for millions of years. Moreover, colonizing the galaxy is hard. You have to restart a civilization all by yourself on an alien planet, not to mention the troubles you would have to go to just to get there. So why would you want to colonize the galaxy when you can chillax in paradise? That's right, you wouldn't.